Now, joining me on the news is Global Affairs Analyst Sam Fati, and he joins me from Georgia to discuss these issues. Good to have you join us, Sam Fati. Now, let's start with the Georgia runoff um, election. This election is coming just a day ahead, where um, co Congress, a joint session of Congress, would certify the Electoral College vote. Now, beyond just the balance of power, what more is at stake? Well, it's very important because now what's at stake is how Biden is going to completely, how easy he's going to find it to be the president of the United States. Remember, the presidential power here is put in check through, the, uh, through Congress, uh, the, House, the House of Representatives and the Senate. So how, how he is going to end up as being the president, how easy will it be to pass his policies, the reforms, the changes and all the campaign promises he made? is incumbent upon who controls the Senate. So it's a very, very critical race at this point in time for him. So um, talk to us about the impact that President Trump is having on this election, especially after a leaked um, phone call he had with the Secretary of State in Georgia, um, Brad Raffensperger. Can you repeat that again? I didn't hear it very clearly. What impact is President Trump having on this um, runoff in Georgia, especially after that leaked phone call he had with um, the Georgia Secretary of State, Brad Raffensperger? I, I think what's happening here with that phone call is that it's going to actually drop off more people to come out to vote against President Trump. Because what had happened in Georgia on that phone call that lasted an hour pretty much disappointed some of the supporters that even Trump has already. The fact that there's an indication that the Federal Bureau of Investigation, which is the FBI, is potentially investigating the president on, 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 having, uh, on breaking the law in terms of that call, is potentially sending a message to his supporters that this is not right. It was the kind of investigation that affected Hillary Clinton at the tail end of the 2016 presidential election. It may affect Trump now. However, the Demo what the Democrats are trying to do here is to use that to send a signal to especially black people and immigrants who are new citizens that this is why it's very critical to vote. That even though President Trump lost the election, he no longer wants to be the president of the United States. Right. He wants his policies to stay in place. Uh, so we also know that we in that clip we had President Trump saying, I hope um, Vice President Pence comes true for us. Talk to us about the pressure on the vice president ahead of um, the, 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 the certification of the Electoral College votes tomorrow? Well, what the president is trying to do is that is pretty much to tell the vice president, you, you owe me. I, I made you my vice presidential uh, pick. I made you my running mate. We came this far. And for us to maintain our influence and for us to somehow technically remain in government, we need to win this. Now, what they want to happen is what you would call a constitutional coup d'etat. And I don't see that happening because it means that all Republicans in the House must vote against the certification. And so far, so good. As, as far as we know here, that is not going to happen. So it's, a, it's, it's an effort that would not succeed. It's an attempt that will not yield the result that, uh, that the president is looking for. What he, if the vice president has to make a tie vote, which is not going to happen, that's what he is hoping for, and that's not going to happen. So at the end of the day, there is so much pressure on the vice president to go to Congress and convince other Republicans to say, look, don't certify this. Yeah. But you have Republicans like Mitt Romney, who was a former presidential nominee, who right. also voted to have Donald Trump impeached, who won't vote against certification. All right. I mean, th there's just so much going on in the United States politics right now. We'll continue to monitor that situation in that country. Global Affairs Analyst Sam Fati, thanks for talking to us. My pleasure.